Hi, and welcome back to Let's Learn to Sew. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to take the measurements that you need to draft a custom fit bodice. What you're gonna need is a tape measure, and it's helpful if you have somebody that can help you with your measurements. I'm gonna be measuring on my dress form. Before you get started, make sure that you slip into something that is supportive and fits close to the body. I usually like to wear a supportive bra and a tank top that fits close to my body. Now the measurements that I'm gonna be taking are the same measurements that are over on our blog post on how to measure and begin drafting your own bodice. I'll leave a link to that blog post and the printable PDF down in the description below. You wanna begin by taking some elastic or ribbon and placing it around your full bust. That's going to line up right with your nipple area and you wanna make sure that it is straight all the way across. It doesn't have to be really tight. You just want it to be snug enough that it doesn't slip or slide. And you wanna do the same thing at your natural waist. Your natural waist area is right at your belly button or the area when you bend side to side where it goes in. Once you've got your elastic or ribbon in place at your bust line and at your waist, we can go ahead and start taking our measurements. This ribbon or elastic is what we're going to use as a guide for several of the measurements. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is our high bust. I'm going to show you on me just because it'll be easier to see than on the mannequin. High bust runs right across the top of your breast line directly under your underarm. So I'm going to take the measurement, make sure I keep my hair out of the way. Don't want to pinch or pull because you know that will change the measurement and just go ahead, lower your arms, and relax. That is gonna be your high bust measurement. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move back to the dress form. The next measurement is your full bust, and that's exactly what it sounds like. It's the fullest part of your bust. So we're gonna measure right along this elastic that we've placed here. Make sure that everything is lined up, even, not slanting. And then we're gonna take that measurement and put it on our sheet. Next is our front bust and I'm gonna turn my mannequin around so you guys can see her. I'm gonna pretend that this is the side seam on a shirt, this area here, because what we're gonna measure is from one side seam to the next. That's why it's important to go ahead and put on a t-shirt or a tank top that is close fitting to your body. So what I'm doing is going from one side seam to the next. Now the next measure you see is your back bust. What you're going to do is subtract your front bust from your full bust measurement. And that's where you'll get that back bust measurement. Now we're moving on to the waist. Again, you want that to be your natural waist measurement. And you're gonna measure the same way we did up here for the full bust. Measure along the elastic or ribbon, whatever you've tied around at your natural waist. That's gonna be the measurement you use for your waist. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn my mannequin around to the back because for the shoulder measurement, we wanna use the back area. This is one of those measurements that's gonna be great if you have somebody to help you, but if you don't, you can actually take the measurement of the t-shirt that you're wearing or that you know fits well and just measure from one seam over to the next up at the shoulders. So we're gonna pretend that her side seams are right here. So I would just go straight across from one seam to the next. Again, making sure I keep the ruler straight not pushing and not pulling on it. For shoulder to center waist, we're gonna go from this outer edge of the shoulder across the bust and down to the center of the waist. There's two measurements that you wanna make note of. You wanna make note of the measurement at the center waist and then up here, right about where the nipple line is, you wanna make note of this measurement also because this is going to be where our bust start is. And if you need to make any adjustments for a fuller bust or a smaller bust, this is one of the points that we'll be making adjustments at. For center back, we just have one measurement. So we're gonna go from this edge right here at the shoulder across to the center point of the waist. All right, we're almost done. What we have left is the arm area we're going to make two measurements here. So the first measurement is going to be from the arm's eye, which is exactly under your arm down to the waist. And then the next one is going to give us the depth and that's going to be from the shoulder to the top. 
I took a Craftsy class back when it was Craftsy before it moved to Blueprint, and one of the instructors suggested taking a ruler, a two inch ruler, placing it under your arm, making sure that it's parallel, and you're gonna measure from the one inch spot down to your waist. That's gonna give you that first measurement. Then for the second measurement, the depth, you go from the one inch spot up to your shoulder and you write that number down. Neck to waist on the front, you're gonna measure from this section here where your throat goes in, so the area where you would see an Adam's apple on a guy. And you're gonna measure down to the bottom of the elastic or ribbon that you have on your waist. So we go from here all the way down. Neck to waist, that's a measurement that we take in the back. We take it from the back section of the neck all the way down. And what you want to use is you should be able to fill a bone right here. You've got a vertebrae that's right here. You're going to measure from there down to your waist. If you're not able to reach that, you could measure from the middle section of the collar of your shirt down to your waistline. Last is the neck measurement. So we're just gonna go around the neck and write that measurement down. That's how easy it is to get the measurements that you need for your bodice. At this point, you could now draft a bodice from your custom measurements for a perfect fit. You could alter a store-bought shirt or you could alter a store-bought bodice pattern. If you have any questions about taking these measurements, let me know down in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them. And don't forget, down in the description, you're gonna find your printable PDF so that you have something to take your measurements on. You'll also find a link to the detailed blog post that walks you through all of these steps. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, and if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit the subscribe button.